Hey, yo, I'm Young Gil, and I'm rocking with Da Vinci Yield TV. Y'all tune in, make that subscription, subscribe. How you got to get that comment, whether you like it or you hate it. Shouts out to Capo 1 and 2, the whole B Street mob, my baby Keisha, my mama, my nephews, Jiggy Man, Tommy, and them big mama Nina. What up, though? You dig? <laughs> What up, though, Detroit? So, you already know the deal. Uh, you know, just giving a shout out to Petty Tupac TV. Like, comment, subscribe. You already know the deal. We have to support our everybody's businesses, and you know, you already know how it goes. We support each other. You know what I'm saying? We make Detroit win. I just came from a place where a coffee daddy get a razor blade slid across your face. I done seen it all. Gang banging killers, fucking boys in the star. Nation of Islam, VBM, 20 man broad, stabbed in his eye and asked what he saw. Muff T's land law. Shout out cancelbadcredit.com. Shout out cancelbadcredit.com. Hit Khalid up. He gonna get you right. Please. Big five. What up, though? Y'all already know how I go. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment, you dig. Hey, I want to read this case to you about um, the infamous alleged hitman, Lil Larry Davidson Eel. Um, it's, it's crazy the lengths people will go to to accomplish what they want. It's a crazy, crazy, dirty game, man. This is like a... His his story is like a movie, you know. It's just I I don't even know this. I'm lost for words about it because this could have happened to any of us, and we wouldn't even seen it coming on the day that you just uh, just lacking for real, for real. But in uh, April 2005, Rodney Harrison was held hostage in his own house. Harrison was tricked into allowing a stranger, Larry Davidson, along with the little boy, into his backyard on the pretense of looking for a baseball. After not finding the non-existent ball, Davidson asked Harrison if he could give Harrison his, cell, his cellular telephone number in case the baseball was found. When Harrison refused, Davidson insisted on calling Harrison's home phone from his cell phone so that Davidson's number would be on Harrison's caller identification. Davidson then asked Harrison to check his caller ID. Harrison went inside the house to do so. When Harrison turned around to walk back upstairs, Davidson had a gun pointed at his head. Davidson had entered Harrison's home without Harrison's invitation or permission. Davidson's, Davidson made a call on his cell phone and gave instructions, and soon after, the defendant came into Harrison's house with a pistol. Now, the defendant name is Jamal uh, Dion Thomas, right? Um, Davidson told the defendant to keep his eyes on Harrison and to shoot Harrison if he made a sound, after which the defendant told Harrison to sit on the sofa with his hands underneath his thighs and threatened to kill Harrison if he moved or made a sound. So he made him sit on his hands. Uh, in, in, in MDOC, they make you sit on your hands too when they serving you through the food slot. That's what they used to make me do, sit on my hands or turn and face the wall, put my knees on the bed, lock my hands behind my head so they have ample opportunity to retreat or make a move if, if I did some. So that's just to slow you down. While defendant held Harrison at gunpoint, Davidson went upstairs to search the house. Davidson ransacked the house for two and a half hours. Damn! Bruh... Two and a half, he, he got real comfy in there. Um, apparently looking for a, so, a large sum of money. Eventually, Harrison was handcuffed, blindfolded, his feet and legs tied together, and he was placed on his stomach. Harrison was beaten when he would not answer where uh, the sought-after money was. Later, Harrison's wife, Teresa, came home, saw a defendant with a gun in his hand, and fled to a neighbor's house from where she subsequently called the police. The police arrived to find Harrison lying handcuffed on the basement floor. Davidson and defendant had fled. Defendant was charged, convicted, and sentenced as noted above. They were in his house two and a half hours, right? To the point his wife came home. Did, you know... This wasn't the smartest thinking, but, you know, to make him sit on his hands and all that is like, bro, you've done this before, <laughs> for real. Um, and and, and it's, it, it mind boggles me what makes a person get to this point where they're this ruthless, right? Um, now, he's trying to appeal this case. He's trying to appeal it. And uh, let me read you some of this. Uh, they stated, to prove assault with intent to murder, the prosecution must show an assault with an actual intent to kill, which is successful, 
would make the killing murder, right? An assault may be established by showing either an attempt to commit a battery or unlawful act that places another in reasonable apprehension of receiving an immediate battery. For assault with intent to commit murder, the requisite intent may be gleaned from the nature of the defendant's acts constituting the assault, the temper or disposition of the mind with which they apparently perform, whether the instrument and means used were naturally adapted to produce death, conduct, and declarations prior to, at the time, and after assault, and all other circumstances calculated to throw upon the attention with uh, which the assault was made. Um, the prosecution presented sufficient evidence to support defendant's assault with intent to murder conviction. Evidence was presented showing that Rodney Harrison was held hostage in his home. Defendant pointed a 38 revolver at Harrison and told Harrison that he would kill him if he made a sound. While little Larry Davison ransacked the house for two and a half hours, defendant remained downstairs with Harrison continuously pointing the gun directly at Harrison's head. Although no evidence was presented which showed the defendant actually harmed Harrison, the evidence showed that the defendant pointed a gun at Harrison's head for several hours and threatened to kill him. Not several hours. Maybe that's a mistake. Um, no actual physical injury is required for the elements of the crime to be established. For the reason stated, the prosecution presented sufficient evidence to show that the defendant committed the offense of assault with intent to murder. The prosecution also presented sufficient evidence to prove that the defendant committed the offense of assault with intent to murder as an aider and a better. To support a finding that the defendant aided and abetted the crime, the prosecutor must show the crime charge committed by the defendant or some other person. The defendant performed acts or gave encouragement to assist the commission of a crime. The defendant intended um, the commission of the crime or had knowledge that the principal intended its commission at the time he gave aid and encouragement. Um, to support a finding that a defendant aided and abetted a crime, the prosecutor must show beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant or aided the defendant or abetted the commission of an offense. Uh, the defendant intended to aid the charged offense, knew the principal intended to commit the charged offense, or alternatively, that the charge was a natural and probable consequence of the commission of the intended offense. So, basically, look, I, I read that part outside the story just to say, do you see how when you break in somebody's home, right, you're not just going to get a home invasion if the... If the, the a uh, plaintiff says that you beat him, and they didn't even. It clearly said you just heard this, right? It clearly said there is no sufficient evidence to show that he was harmed, and you still got assault with intent to murder. And they be frying them young boys for that, man. They be frying them. You better think about what you do before you do this, man. And also. also Always be on your P's and Q's, no matter where you at. Just not in the hood, but in the suburbs. Be on your P's and Q's. Somebody coming, talking about a baseball in the backyard. I can't lie, but it came out with my thing in my hand. Like, hey, what's up? And just hearing this story, you know, I hate to, 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 to taint your mind and make you pessimistic. But that's crazy that you would take a little boy to go commit a crime with you. Um, where was the boy in this situation? I don't know from who I talked to. The boy was sitting in the, um, uh, uh, at the back door just waiting. Just waiting. Peace and blessings be upon y'all, man. Be careful out here in these new years. Don't get caught slipping like no sucker. Please don't, man. Stay aware and alert of your surroundings at all time and don't believe nothing nobody talking unless you know what they you, you know talk about for real for real man all right peace and blessings i'm gone big five